I'd like to introduce Larita Cox, an average teacher in an average school, teaching English on the North Shore of the island of Oahu. I performed a Google search on her and didn't come up with much. Her name was on a state report for helping to develop a writing program for the Hawaiian School District. Her name also showed up in the Honolulu Star Bulletin for the same efforts. Nothing outstanding, nothing spectacular. In 1975, I was a rebellious and troubled 15-year-old. I found myself on the island of Oahu at Kahuku High School, serving the North Shore. But more important, I found myself in Mrs. Cox's reading class. I hated reading. I was a child of the 60s, the last of the baby boomers. My father taught at a nearby university. My mother stayed at home. I was the runt of the family, the tail end, the caboose. I was number 10 of 10 children. I was raised like every other kid, nothing outstanding, nothing spectacular. I attended elementary school like everyone else. As my elementary school years passed, I came to realize I was different. I was the only kid to be pulled out of class to go to the counselor's office for monthly testing. I became the guinea pig. If you've seen one ink blot, you've seen them all. My answer was always the same. What do you see? My answer, bugs, butterflies, and birds. Testing included words, pictures, and visual recognition became the normal routine. This went on month after month, year after year through elementary school and junior high. Something was off, but no one was talking. The only clue I had, my father, likening myself to Thomas Edison. Was I destined to become an inventor or was there another darker trait I shared with him? Each week during my elementary school years, our class spent an hour in the library. I enjoyed the library. Curious George and Dr. Seuss were my favorites. I loved looking at the pictures. I never read the words. As my sophomore year began at Kahuku High School, I found myself sitting in Mrs. Cox's class. We were taking turns reading the page from the recent class assignment, Lord of the Flies. The previous night's homework was to read and discuss chapter one. My turn came. All I remember was a blur and embarrassment. I never read a book in my life. The following day was a bit different. I was asked to stay after class, a common occurrence. Mrs. Cox handed me a copy of the book, Lord of the Flies, with the following instructions. She told me to show up to class for attendance, and then I would be released for the class period. I was to find a quiet spot somewhere on the school campus where I could be alone. She instructed me to quietly read out loud, but she wanted me to listen to what I was speaking and to see if it made sense to what I was reading. So each day I showed up to class and left. I either found a place on the bleachers or under a banyan tree. This practice continued at home. It took a few weeks for my metamorphosis to occur. No longer was I reading words. I was there, in the pages, next to the fire, next to the pig's head on the stake, next to Piggy's lifeless body. As time progressed, I returned to class, to the discussions, to take my turn to read a page or two. Other books followed. I found myself enjoying to read. I was able to leave this secluded island and see the world through pages of a book. Why did I make this video? My gratitude is almost a half century past due. The next time someone Googles the name of Rilta Cox, not only will they find two lonely references, 
but there will be a short YouTube video on an exceptional, outstanding teacher in an average school teaching English on the North Shore of the island of Oahu.